My name is Pilar Alonso. I'm the senior partner of Alonso Now Solicitors uh, with offices in UK and Spain. Mm, we are Spanish property lawyers and we are specialized in convincing. Over nearly now more than 15 years, we have been helping clients uh, to buy properties and sell properties in Spain. So we have a, a lot of experience in that field. I'm proud to say as well that I have been named uh, by the Times Lawyer of the Week, which is, has been an honor. Um, but today I'm here to tell you that to buy a property in Spain is easy and you don't really need a lawyer if you really know which are the steps which need to be taken. And despite of what you can read or what the media can tell you, it's important for you to know that you could be your own lawyer, you could help yourself going through this procedure because, as I said before, buying a property in Spain is easy and it's quite it's safe and it's quite straightforward. The first thing that you need to know when you buy a property in Spain is that the first document you will need to request to the vendor is the title deed, which is in Spanish, Escritura. That document will tell you who is the owner of the property and also will tell you um, the boundaries of the property so you know exactly where the property is located. The other document which you will need to request on the land registration is Nota Simple. Nota Simple is like an X-ray of that property and will tell you as well a part of the ownership and a part of where the property is located as well uh, will tell you if the property has any charges or any embargo or has some mortgage on it that is important because obviously when you buy the property the first thing that you want to do is to clear any sort of charges or mortgage that the property can have so it is important to request what we call, again, Nota Simple, which will provide you with information about any sort of embargo that the property or charge that the property may have. It's also important to request for what we call, or you call in English, first occupation, what we call in Spanish, Primera Ocupación. And this document will tell you as well the property is legal. It's the last document that it will provide by the town hall when the property is completely completed and legalized. So, Escritura, which is the title deed, and then Nota Simple, which is an x ray from the land registration of the property and then you will need what we call licencia de primera ocupación which is your habitation license another document which will be important to request is what we call EV, which is the equivalent of council taxes in uk and this document will tell you that the property a part of being registered on the land registration has been registered on the town hall which is also important. So the property again needs to be registered on the title, uh, on the re land registration and also on the town hall. Once you like the property and once you have already checked all the documents and you are happy that the property is legal, you will need to sign what we call a booking contract or reserve contract. And that contract basically is like a document where you just keep the right to hold that property until you exchange contracts with the buyer. So this contract, which is booking contract, 
you need to pay to save the property on your behalf 10% normally 10% on the property price so then you can decide with the vendor which is going to be the day that you exchange you pay through the property and they will provide you with the keys of the property so the property will be yours in Spain when you buy a property and you sign the title deed it has to be in front of a public notary not in front of a lawyer we have in Spain notaries which will sign with you that the property is yours the first step is to sign the booking contract which you, when you will give 10% on the property price to save the property and then you will just fix a date with the vendor and that day you will sign the property and then another important document you will request for in the police station is for what we call NI number which is equivalent to your social security number in UK and with that document without that number you will not be able to sign so make sure that before you sign in front of the notary you will request the police station for your NI number I hope that this information is useful for you and you have enjoyed this video because you will get more information in my next future videos. Thank you very much for your time.